Pisces, it is time for your mid-August to September reading of this current year. Da -da 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 -da. If you are new to this channel, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So check your charts. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game after all. Doesn't work if you don't believe in it, right? Boop your nose. Also, if you want a personal rating after this, just hit me up either on my email, my Instagram, or my Facebook, which is in the description box below. First reading is on the house. Everything comes with a price after that, as you, per usual. And I do take tips and donations, so thank you kindly in advance. Now, Pisces, what's up with you for this cycle? Um, you're not taking a leap of faith. You're kind of looking over at it like, fuck no, you know. <laughs> Um, restricting yourself, restraining yourself because it might feel like your shadow side's coming out a little bit too much, right? Could be a king of wands you're dealing with. Leo, most likely also a Sagittarius or Aries. That's a want and wish, and then your obstacles and challenges is the seven of wands reverse. You're on the right path to get out of a nasty situation, you just don't see the exit yet. And that's the problem, you don't see the exit. Um, your fears and rejections right now is taking a break, like you're kind of refusing to, which is not good for you. You get all sleepy and shit. Then we have the Nine of Wands reverse in the beginning and the ending. What brings this shit full circle, right? How it started, and this is how it will end. Letting your guard down and finally being able to relax. You're looking for a reason to stick around, my dudes. Right, right. This queer right here is afraid to take a leap of faith out of a bad situation. Because, you know, they might be getting their shadow side fed. Possibly a Leo they're dealing with as well. And they just want to finally let their guard down after all this shit, you know? So, let's see. Like, they're looking for a reason to stick around. But I feel like there isn't a reason to. This full reverse, someone isn't taking a leap of faith. Like, they wanted to save a bias from the person from the past, not run back into him like, bitch. Hey, darling, how have you been? And they're really not trying to start anything new with them either, because I don't think they believe that it will start all sunshine and rainbows for this parent, right? We got strength reversed. Leo might be vices, less temptations, someone falling for their shadow side. They might be trying to actually resist this shit, because they're just like, oh, hell nah. I'm not going with that. There's lightning and shit. No. <laughs> I'll get zapped. Um, they know that this shit will work bad in their favor if they go for it. And that's why they're not starting something. No matter how tempting it is to bang that fish lady. King of Wands right here. Once again, reverse. Could be Leo Sag Aries. Um... Might be hiding their true emotions and intentions. And might end the cycle fucky. I think you want this person. I think you want to know how to deal with them. But they won't really give you any answers to feel satisfied. They won't give you the closure you're actually expecting. This is like a lack of closure when it comes to this cycle. Right? Down here, though, is like the... Seven of Wands reverse. Like, you're on the right path to get out of this shit, but it's like you can't see how to get out of it. Like, you want to take action. Maybe you want some booty. But you're not saying anything about it either. Like, you're keeping your mouth shut. You're really not even trying to investigate or find information. Now, your fears and rejections has you not taking a break, right? Hmm. I feel like you're kind of staying quiet about your emotions, Pisces, because you're not sure how this person is acting. Like, they're not giving you a break. They keep coming up being like, do you have any milk? Do you have any cereal? Do you have a bowl I can use for the milk and cereal? Hey, where are your spoons at? Hey, do you want some of this? Because it's really good. Okay, I don't know why you're so mad. I was just asking. Like, you know, they do shit like that, and it gets on your nerves. So you're kind of keeping your emotions to yourself, because it's just kind of like, maybe if I just ghost just a little bit. <laughs> They'll go away. Don't ghost. That's not nice. Now, you're not taking a break from this relationship. You're afraid to or you're rejecting the idea of doing so. 
At least not in a fashion that would be open and like visible, right? Because I feel like you're not sure about where you would go. Or even where this direction would be. Like you're not trying to concentrate on the person you broke up with. Because, you know, every time you were with them, it made you feel like, mm, why are they watching me like that? Like a fucking creeper. You know, you love this person, yeah. But when it comes to actually taking the action to stepping forward, you know that, like, communication would be a big damper. And it would be really hard to, like, actually deal with their shit. Now, you do want to let your guard down with the Nine of Wands. This is what will bring the, all this shit full circle. What started it, how it'll end. You people are two totally different people, and you want to let your guard down and let them know that. The shit's over and done with. Like, you can't be together anymore. It's done. Ending theme is the Three of Swords. I feel like you want to let your guard down and let this person know that it's over. Because it's like you've been taking time to really look at it. Pisces. Anyway, let's see what else comes out and then we're done for the day. Let's see. Nine of Swords. You, you got some mental stuff going on with it. And it's probably even a sour taste in someone's mouth. Someone's probably being impulsive with what they say. Not being very nice. Um, when it comes to some sort of decision being made here, you might be troubled about it and maybe you're afraid you're just going to snap. Cross watchers, please switch where you have to, right? You want to move on from the past and away from this relationship that ended back in the day. However, Sir Idiot here just steps up and be like, Hey, I got something for you with the help of that decision. And you're just like, look, I'll boil your kid's pets. Back up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, there's a tower moment. Moment of truth comes in for two people. And it's for possibly the counterpart, where they really, someone is really pissed off. Someone is not happy. Somebody is bitter. They got the thousand yard stare and they're being selfish and inconsiderate and not very nice to you. Right? And you gotta hold your shit back because it's just like, I could snap your neck here in a fucking second. Or they're trying to um, hold their own selves back because you're coming at them with their bullshit and just being like, no, you don't king, king of cups reverse me, I'll queen of cups reverse you. They do want to offer you love though. It is genuine. They're willing to work on it and they're telling the truth, but what they're not telling you is what happened in the background to make this wish fulfillment come to fruition. It's like, they're not expecting you to ask questions. I would totally ask some questions, Pisces. Because it seems like, you know, you shouldn't stick around with somebody once they break your heart. It's just very counterproductive, you know. But, that's your reading. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. No pressure to. You don't have to. Make me feel pretty awesome, though. Like awesome sauce. But, I love your guys' faces, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Well,